The donors of the tree and the manger for display in St. Peter's Square this year met with the Pope this morning. Pope Francis very much enjoyed their company. Il presepio e l'albero, simboli affascinanti del Natale, possano portare nelle famiglie e nei luoghi di ritrovo un riflesso della luce e della tenerezza di Dio per aiutare tutti a vivere la festa della nascita di Gesù. The novelty for this year's nativity is based on the Dolomite tradition. This is because the Patriarch of Venice proposed to build a manger entirely of sand. This material has a very deep meaning. Sand is the image of something that comes from the earth. We know, as the Bible says, that man comes from the earth, that he is fragile. This is the mystery of God shaped through this element that transmits in an excellent way that man's fragility also requires a moment of reflection on Christmas and an examination of conscience. Un esame di coscienza. Although they've made it waterproof, the four sculptors have designated a person to be available at any time in case the crib suffers any damage. Some people are surprised to see that once dry, the sculpture does not collapse. It's like a clay figure when it's wet, but once it's dry, it's very firm. It's kind of firm. The tree this year will be a red spruce, much simpler than that of previous years. And also, after Christmas, it will be destined for a special project. An agreement has already been made that nothing will be thrown away and the tree will be recycled so that toys can be made for poor children. No doubt this year will be original, special and unique for the Vatican's Christmas decorations. This, as the Pope has said, perfectly reflects simplicity, tenderness and kindness.